Today, we're going to build a pig farm. What's going on, everybody? This is Captain Obvious, and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Before we start, if you like this video, please make sure to smash that like button. It helps me out a lot and lets me know that you guys want to see more silly tutorials like this. Hopefully, you also find this uh, helpful. Okay, so what we have right here is the pig separator uh, pig farm. Now, I, I, I refrain from calling it automatic because every time I put automatic, everybody gets so up in arms. It's semi-automatic because you got to, you know, press a button. So I'm not going to call it automatic, but it's an automatic farm. Uh, semi, semi-automatic farm. Okay, so you got your, you got your whole bunch of uh, adults here. You climb up your ladder. Actually, first press the button. It makes it easier to hit everybody. All right, they start jumping up. Okay, so you come in here with your with your carrots, you just walk around, bing, bang, boom, you start getting some babies going. All right, just keep going back and forth until the hearts stop. Okay, cool. Jump down, you can press that button. You should even get a little bit of XP from it. Okay, now you might notice, uh, do we see, yeah, there we go, there's a baby right here. Uh, you might notice another baby. Once this fills up, you're going to start seeing a lot more babies kind of staying up there, uh, which is okay because eventually what happens is the more full this gets, they start forcing all of them. You can see all the ones that I have right here. Uh, and if you also want, you can stand here and you can sometimes get some of the babies to work their way um, over. But you don't need to do that. Eventually, the babies will find their way. And you do want some here anyway. You want a lot more cedars, so you can have a lot more babies. Okay? So anyway... So we come right here, we press the button, and you'll notice only the adults get cooked. The babies do not. Okay, so we're standing here. Let's just see how much, how many pork chops we get. Oh, that's a decent amount. I didn't realize I had so many in there. Look at that. Wow, there was a lot of pigs in there. Oh my goodness. All right, well, you see, we already have a bunch of babies that are still not uh, grown up yet. 41 we got from that one thing. That is pretty darn good. All right, so let's just get into uh, what you need and how to build it. All right, guys, so here's everything you're going to need. Uh, you can either take a screenshot or just look in the description. I'll have everything for you. Obviously, minus the, uh, the pig egg, you, you're going to just need to get pigs yourself. Okay? We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Before I finish, I should say that you can use whatever blocks you want that always comes up. Use whatever blocks you want at all. The only things that need to be the same are the dispensers, the redstone, the button has to be stone. Do not use wood. The pulse is too long. And the hoppers, everything else, and obviously these two. Um, but all the building blocks, and, and the observer, all the building blocks themselves, you can mix and match, do whatever you want to do. Okay? So we're going to go eight across with that. We're going to build up like this. Uh, this can actually be... Whoops. This can actually be a dispenser, so we're going to put a dispenser here, okay? And we're also actually going to put a dispenser over here, but before we do that, what I'm going to go ahead and do is put down a or an observer. So put an observer facing up, then you go ahead and you put your other dispenser just like that, okay? Now we can keep going, okay, so we're just going to build this up, uh, three, so just like that. Come across the back with whatever building block you chose here. Go there. Go one, two, three. Come across the back like that. Okay, and now I happen to really like the way the polished black stone looks with the pigs, like the pink. Okay, and then we're gonna go. We're actually just gonna build this. Uh, do the redstone, so we won't do this yet. We're gonna come across the front now with our uh, quartz stairs. I just like the way it looks. You do not have to use that at all. Okay, do the same thing across the top. Court stairs. And I'm going to go right up to there. So we're going to go one out. Okay? Cool. Now what we can go ahead and do is put our uh, stained glass there. And just leave it, again, again just leave it right here because we, we still have to do the redstone. Okay? So why don't we go ahead and actually take care of that redstone. So we're going to break these blocks here. Break that block there, go down again, and then underneath that observer, and we're just going to come out one, two, three, 
four, and then that's going to be the fifth one just like that. Okay? Cool. Now what we're actually going to do is drop this down. So we're going to break that. Okay, we're going to go and put the black stone here. So we're going to go black stone there, that there, and then these two right here are going to be the uh, hoppers. So we're going to break those. We're going to put one hopper into that dirt block, one hopper into that hopper, make sure they're facing each other. Or make, so this is facing this, and then this is facing that block. Okay. And then what I'm going to go ahead and do is just put one, two, break that, three, and then go ahead and put the chest just like that. Okay. Now we can come in here and uh, cover all of this up. So go ahead and put whatever block you decided to use there. We're going to go with this one all the way up to here. We're going to go this block here like so. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and put that there and put our button on it. Perfect. Now you can go in here and put your, this is where your lava bucket's going to go on this one. And you can just press it real quick and make sure it works. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. Okay. Uh, oh, actually this has to be two. Sorry. I'll make sure I put that in the description. You have to have two of these. So one goes there and one goes here. This is the one right here that actually filters out the baby. So only the babies can go here. And this is also what saves the babies because when the babies stand on top, they cannot be hurt by the lava. The adults actually can. Okay. Perfect. Now we're going to go ahead and put our block down there just like that. And then I like to fill this all the way up. You don't have to just put that all the way there. Okay. And then right on top of this, I happen to really like the way the crimson trap door looks with the pink closest thing we got. Go ahead and use whatever you want. Again, that doesn't really matter. Okay. And then we can come in here and we can close up the glass like so. Okay. We can fill this in right here. And then the same thing, you could just fill in those two. So now we have the hole. This is where you put your pigs. So go ahead and get your pigs in there. Okay. So just, I would start with just the two, you know, stair step it, breed them. Uh, and you'll, you know, you should get uh, a lot of pigs. Now you might, you might see the babies fall in there. That's okay. Like I said, over time, you're going to get, you'll have enough pigs that stay up here. Okay. I'm just going to go crazy with them. Get as many pigs in there as you feel. Uh, you need to, or you can, the more you have, the better it'll be when you breed because it'll just start flowing. Okay. And then what we're going to do for the top, we're just going to put down a temporary block, put a slab there break that block and then put that back and then put that back. So it looks just like this kind of like a little handlebar thing, but like a, if a giant were to come by and pick it up, it would be like a little handle. Okay. One thing, two, two, two things left to do. We're just going to put a stone button there and we're just going to come in here and we're going to put our water bucket. This actually could be a different button, but I mean, you already got the stone. You might as well just keep it together. It would look really silly if you had wood here and you know, um, the stone there. Okay, and that's that's it. That's the entire farm. So now just to test it out, just come in here. You could try it without the water first. It'll give you the same effect. And then I would I would say run the water, so just crouch. You can actually press it from up here. There we go. And then go through again, and you can get anybody that you missed. Also, see how some of the, the pigs kind of jump? See how they kind of jump forward and backwards? That's why the water really helps. Really, really, really helps you filter it out. Look, we already got a bunch of babies in there. Okay. And then again, like I said, once the water stops, if you kind of want to stand, see how the pigs are coming? See how the babies are coming this way? If you want to just stand here for a second while they grow up, or not while they grow up, you don't have to wait that long. You could walk away right now and you'd be fine. But if you want to just stand here for a second, sometimes they, sometimes we can get them over here, sometimes we can't. Okay, that's fine. Eventually, they'll get pushed out. They, they walk around. They, they do all their stuff. I don't know how many we got, but one, two. It looks like we got at least four. So if you want to just test it out, you press it. You'll see that it does not kill the babies. So you're not going to lose anything. Okay, it's lossless. You will not lose anything at all unless you press it as one of the babies is falling. If you happen to just press the button and then the baby just happens to be falling uh, as the lava blades out, you will lose that one, but... I'm not counting that. <laughs> I'm not going to count that as a loss. All right. So anyway, guys, 
That is going to do it for me. Until next time, Captain Obvious out. Peace.